I think dealing with violence on, on daily uh, life, it's not uh, something pleasant, but at the same time, it is something that gives you uh, more energy, that helps you appreciate life and live life in a more intense manner. Um, so you end up appreciating absolutely everything. And in a way, art demands uh, care lots of care and taking care of details so if if you know what can be lost in a second then you appreciate more everything you come in contact with dai ragazzi delle gang di los angeles alle madri dei desaparecidos colombiani l'arte di doris salcedo nasce dal contatto dalla frequentazione per lunghi periodi dalla prossimità fisica ed emotiva con le vittime e gli emarginati l'allestimento della sua opera plegaria muda al maxi di roma è l'occasione quindi per parlare con lei di questo approccio all'arte così diretto e coraggioso. Un'arte che riesce miracolosamente a mettere insieme immagini dal carattere intimo, come potrebbero esserlo la camicia lasciata su una sedia da qualcuno che non è più tornato a casa, e al tempo stesso iconiche e universali, come i mucchi di scarpe degli internati nei lager o le pile di teschi dei morti del Ruanda. I'd like to quote Jean-Luc Lancy, who says that uh, in a work of art coincides an event and an eternity. So it is, of course, something particular that has to do with tragic, dramatic uh, events that take place uh, in, in the periphery, in, 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 uh, in the borders of life. Uh, but at the same time, it has to do with daily life, with the way we experience absence, mourning, uh, and with the, 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 the way I think life will never perish. Uh, if somebody dies at the same time, somebody is born at the same time, somebody is cooking at the same time. So it is, a, in a sense, eternal life. Life keeps um, renovating itself. It keeps continuously uh, growing. It continuously grows, just as the piece is it, it's, it's growing up, up upstairs in the room. The human, the essence of the human, uh, resides in tragedy. In tragedy, it really is what you recognize. Um, the strength of a person, the beauty of a person, the intelligence of a person. It is quite important. It is really the essence of, of, the, of a human being. It's always, it always plays um, itself in the most astonishing way in the midst of tragedy, nor in the midst of a normal, uh, simple situation. It is in complex situations where the most is demanded of the human being, that the best is given. So. That, I think that that's why, although I, I wouldn't know how to make art about nothing, it has to be about life and the essence. It is because I believe uh, art is what keeps us human. Per Nether, del 2004, Salcedo fece incorporare in un muro una rete metallica di recinzione. Con Abis, del 2005, rivestì di mattoni una sala del castello di Rivoli. Chibolette, del 2007, era una crepa sul pavimento della Tate Modern. Action de Duelo, dello stesso anno, comportò la realizzazione di una griglia di 25.000 candele sulla Plaza de Bolivar a Bogotà per ricordare tutte le persone rapite nel paese dalle diverse fazioni in guerra. Ognuno di questi lavori parla di temi politici, come violenza e oppressione, ma in modo poco ideologico. I have never been uh, an activist, never, and it does not interest me at all. Uh, what interests me is art and the ability that art us to create these spaces where we, that allowed us to think. Art is like a, creates um, like ruptures, delays, and in those delays, when you enter uh, and you contemplate an artwork, you're silent and you have the opportunity to think. And in that moment, you can communicate with the experience of these victims. Whatever experience the, the viewer brings can be communicated with the experience that is present in the work. So it is that moment and that possibility that art gives us what interests me, not the political activism. Nonostante abbia completato i suoi studi a New York e oggi percorre il mondo in ogni angolo, Doris Salcedo resta strettamente legata alla realtà colombiana, che riesce a elevare a metafora di tutti i luoghi. Colombia has a tragic history being a colony and colonized by force and with brutality and then poverty pretty much continues that condition so i think people have always been really under brutal sort of of power it's a 
weak country with many, many problems, uh, political problems. But um, just as there is violence, there is a strong, very strong will uh, to live. Violence is, is very much part of human society. I don't think we, it will be totally raised. There are different levels. One thing will be just to kill a person and to see blood running, that's another thing. But uh, um, the philosopher Emmanuel Levinas says that there are several ways of shedding blood. And if you uh, make somebody embarrassed and then the person blushes, that's another way of shedding blood. Viene da chiedersi come riesca Doris Salcedo a non sprofondare sotto il peso delle tragedie di cui si fa carico con il suo lavoro e a restare una donna dall'apparenza serena e quasi solare. Life, life itself, I think is incredibly positive. And I think the fact that we are capable of mourning our, our death, it's part of life. And it shows that human beings are great, that are capable of honoring somebody that can no longer listen, somebody no longer there. And, and nonetheless, we can remember those people.